Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the other day I was thinking, just, like not about anything in particular, I was just thinking and I realised that I never actually revealed my like A-level results because I did receive them, just not until early September. Luckily it was only for like my first year of my course. Also I like to point out I have got a top on, it's just a cami and you can't really see it because of the camera. But I did receive my result and I am going to share it with you today but before I get on to my result for anyone who's never seen my face before I just want to go through a few key details that you would that would be necessary for you to know first thing is I'm studying health and social care and second thing is my course was a cash course and cash along with BTAX took longer for results to get to you and basically cash it's different from BTEC but it's also but it's very similar because it's a mainly coursework subject and yeah it's just a mainly coursework subject there is a sort of examined unit at the end or at least there was supposed to be this year like it wasn't examined as such like the first year it was like a contra extended assessment and but we never got to do it which and it should have been like four or five days but because of covid we couldn't but in the first year i studied a course of diversity and rights human growth and development safeguarding communication infection prevention and control psychology sociology working in health and social care and reflective practice so those were the units I studied in year one. It's a range. This year is a little bit more specialist, but if you want me to do like a whole video on like what's going on in my second year, let me know in the comment section. But with cash, it's different to BSAC because there's more, em A, there's more emphasis on referencing and also B, with the grading, it's not distinction merit pass it's a star yeah a star to d so it's different in terms of grading now you do get graded for each diff each of the units and then you sort of get like an average type thing like the average grades you get so like if you're predominantly A's you'd obviously get an A, if you're predominantly D's you'd get a D. Now for a lot of my units I did get a D, however because of Covid I'm fortunate enough that any, even if I passed some grades, higher grades on an, on, a sign, on a unit but I didn't get like the B's and C's like I know on infection prevention and control I passed the A's and the A stars but I didn't fully hit the B's and the C's which meant that I only got a D overall for that unit but because of Covid they're now able to use those A's and A stars incorporated into my final grade and also another thing is for human growth and development I got a B for that unit anyway, so that's obviously going to help. Obviously, if I'd have only just got these and then that one B, that B wouldn't really help. But because of the A's and the A, the A star, having achieved the A and the A star criteria in that infection unit, it's going to, it, I think it's what's affected, it's what's positively affected my end grade. Now I'd also like to point out the lowest you can get is a D, like if you do all of the like like you're guaranteed to get a D, like they like you keep retrying it till you've passed the D. Granted, I don't think anyone had to like fully keep retrying it, but there is that. So like I said, for a lot of my units, I got a D. I know that quite a few people in my group got a D. I don't know of anyone else who's got higher than a D. Or at least not people I know. Like, we have a group chat and people, no one's said that they've got higher than a D. 
which is obviously sad because I do I know that a lot of effort was put in and it seemed like we were hitting all the criteria they needed us to but then they were finding these faults that weren't there like some teachers we found did it a little bit more than others so that didn't help but that's what that's like the background to it so for my first year of my cash course which by the way is its own qualification itself it was the cash level three certificate in health and social care like it's higher than an award but lower than the extended diploma which is what i'm doing for the second year but i'll go into more detail with that in another video if you want me to but also sorry about this flickering it's more this light i think than anything i don't know but yeah so at the end of my first year i got a c i was ecstatic that i got a c like some people might think oh you got a c but with everyone with me expecting a D, I was so 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 happy with a C. Obviously, if it was second year, I'd be devastated. But because it's first year, and we were still getting to the ropes with cash, like even my college was, because the previous year they were doing VTech, so we were like, I was like a guinea pig again in my life for, but this time for cash, because I was the year where. All the GCSEs became numbered, so we were the guinea pigs in terms of gradings, like no one knew gradings. Like obviously I know the year before did maths and English, but we did everything. And then people in my year, like if I'd have passed when I passed, I'd be going to the university this year. So again, everything's happening to people in like my age obviously the cash was just because i was a year behind but cash is actually supposed to be easier than me tech but there were delays on both but yeah i got a c i was really really happy with a c obviously i'm aiming for like an a at the end of the second year but with a b at lowest like to get it I have a uni that is a C, like a good uni that is a C that I'd be happy going to, but I've got an A uni and a B uni and I think I'd probably end up preferring going to the B uni but I don't know, but also the A uni, also, I think I've got four unis in total, no five. I think I've got five unis in total but the last one I'm not sure and the fourth one is like well I know it's a good uni I don't know whether my heart's in it like the city like even though it's a good city I don't know whether my heart's in it but yeah I don't think I'm gonna reveal my unis just yet I think I am gonna wait just because I don't know, just because I've not fully decided yet. Like, I could change my mind on, like, my fourth and fifth decision. Because some people might think, you don't need your fourth and fifth decision. But for me, it's more of, like, a comfort blanket. In the sense, like, having a fourth and fifth decision. Like, that's what it's going to be to me. Like, an added backup. Granted, yes, none of the other backup unis are C's, so I would need to get a B, but I think I know which cities I'd prefer to study in, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. <laughs> if you studied cash, let me know in the comment section, I'd love to hear what you got, even if it was a childcare course, I'd still love to know what you got, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let me know in the comment section of any videos you want to see from me i am planning on doing like what's on my university 
shopping list and let me know if you definitely want to see that video but i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys